and we're back so guys uh, on this 43rd Third episode we are uh, trying a new format 43rd 43rd <laughs> <laughs> the 43rd episode <laughs> that is actually funny uh, so on this episode we've gotten some feedback from all the corners of the internet and real life <laughs> yes and we're gonna try something new uh, we don't really know what this format is gonna sound like at the end or <laughs> well, we're just gonna dive straight in and sort of try it out yeah right? we're going in head first and uh, yeah without knowing what the fuck we're diving into yep so we are enjoy this sketchbook confessionals uh <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, yes go intro let's go <laughs> intro sketchbook intro <laughs> artists of the world unite Step out of your comfort zone into the danger zone. And we're back. <laughs> Hello, people. So, hey, man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the people. Screw it. It's you and me now. Yeah, it's us. So, how, how how's your week been? It's been good. Um, yeah, last week was a little bit more hectic than I, uh, like, have been used to, I guess. Like, ever since I had a vacation, it's been really nice and slow and calm. Mm -hmm. And I've been super fucking lazy, always. Uh, but last week, like stuff, well, things started picking up again, like for reals. And I just remembered like, oh, this is what it was like working. Great. Uh, but it was good. It was still good. Like I needed it. Uh, it sort of gave me a new inspiration boost. And yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How are you doing? How, how was your week? Uh, dude, I've been getting like since last week. I was starting to feel like a cold coming up, mm -hmm. but then it disappeared, and I was fine. I was like, woo, life. Because <laughs> I lost a couple of freelance gigs because they were canceled for various reasons. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is nice. But I've been like, this cold has been creeping in. And then yesterday, or like this, like late yesterday, mm -hmm. it just crept in on me again. So now I'm like a bit knocked out, but I'm trying to sort of like power fight through. it. Power yeah. through. Yeah. Fuck yeah. But that's the thing. Like, as soon as you start relaxing, yeah, that's that when motherfucker it yeah, yeah, yeah. just hits you. Every yeah. time. Like, every goddamn time. Like, yeah. It, it, yeah, it never <clears> fails. <throat> Actually, I was really surprised I didn't get really sick when I went on vacation. This, Not really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's normally what happens. Like, mm -hmm. I have two like weeks days, off. Yeah. Then the first week is just me being sick. Oh, that sucks. But I think this time, because I only had the one week and, like, everything was new with Anna and... And yeah, you were it, like more excited. You didn't yeah, really. Yeah, I was really relax, excited, yeah. and I guess a bit stressed also somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, that sort of saved me. But, That's nice. Uh, though. And I haven't been. Or no, I can't remember if I've been sick. Like I've had some stomach thing or something, but never. I haven't had a proper cold since, since uh, yeah. the holidays. That's nice. Where's the wood? Knock on wood. There you that's go. That's not even wood in that. Yeah, that's wood. That's a that's a, a fooder. <laughs> but yeah. So okay. So you're. Uh... Yeah, it is. but otherwise it's been pretty good. I have like a meeting. Unless I get sick tomorrow, I have a meeting with a well-known company. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't say much about that. I don't even want to name them right now. I don't want to jinx it. Nice. Uh, but other than that, no, nothing new really. I've seen the new My Little Pony movie. Awesome. <laughs> so I have that. I haven't seen Thor, but I've seen the new My Little Pony movie. Well, at least uh, that's something. It was actually surprisingly good, and they're like extra cute in this one. So Okay. As but is style. it still in the same style yeah, as yeah, the same show? Yeah, same style, but the new show. sort of like slightly more refined. How's so the, the comedy and stuff in it? It's good. I, I laughed. Dude. Because 
That's what I liked about the the new show. That yeah, they yeah, made. yeah, the show is it's, it's, like, it's the exact same. Thing. It's funny. Uh, yeah. They're cute. They're not too cute. No, it's no, not, no, no. It's they not go too like crazy. Anything. Uh, it's yeah. like really right in the middle of everything. So yeah, I think grown ups so. can watch it. Kids can watch it. Boys and girls can watch it. Everybody. Dude, the new, the new shows in general are so much better than the old ones because the old ones, I don't know, like the the real My Little Ponies. They're not very fun to watch. I, I don't, don't even watch. remember. Dude, I have a couple of them. My daughter mm-hmm. watched them. Before we sort of discovered the the new My Little Ponies. Oh shit, dude! It's so ugh. <laughs> it's, My Little Pony. Yeah, everyone's My little pony. like in those <laughs> ones. There, everyone is super fucking cute. Like everyone's like, ugh. It's just like unwatchable. <laughs> like almost. It's uh, and it's the like, animation isn't very good either. You know. No, no. That's the only thing I remember, and that's mm-hmm. why. I mean, I was gonna say that's why I didn't watch it. But uh, no yeah, yeah. For, for obvious reasons, I, I did not watch uh, <laughs> the old My Little Pony show. But I did grow up with it and I enjoyed oh, yeah. it as a kid. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. now when you look back, but it's the same with the turtles as well that we love. Mm-hmm. Like that show is not very good. It's no. like, dude, I watched 38 episodes of it at work, you know, like in the background. <laughs> and I was like, I can't watch this. Like, it's so bad. Yeah. Like the intro is awesome. They have some good li- like one liners. In the first, like, three episodes. Yeah. And then it's just downhill. <laughs> I mean, it's just the first movie, like, yeah. or if you call it a movie. It, it is a movie. You mean, or like, the introduction? The, yeah, like, yeah. The, the whole, the first, I think, so maybe that is the first three episodes. But I think it's, like, the first, yeah, the first And that's sort of compiled season. into uh, one movie, also, that you can I get. That's I the one remember. that Eric brought. Was it? Yeah. Because I thought those were episodes. Because that's the one with the uh, go suck a lemon and yeah, all yeah, of exactly, that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, uh, and that was fucking genius. No, yeah, that is still funny. Yeah, that, that, but I think it's more sentimental than anything yeah, else. Yeah, it is. Does Must go suck a lemon <laughs> hold any meaning to you? Because that's when he like turtles join me. I am the shredder. I am the shredder. A kitchen yeah. kitchen utensil. Fuck yeah, <laughs> that's a mouthful. <laughs> a kitchen utensil. Yeah, that's hard oh, to say. Oh man, it, yeah. it's so good. It's it, really, it is. It was really good, but. Let's move on from that and just yeah, like, yeah. I can start with my Inktober because you have oh, a yeah. lot more to say than I have. Go. Uh, I managed to do 20 days this year. That is, apparently I only did 15 last year that I could find. Really? So I did five more this year. So. Yeah, but that's still a win. It is a win. Definitely. I mean, for me, it was, my goal was making at least, or just breaking the last, the last year. Yeah. yeah. And I managed to finish it. Well, I did cheat on two images. Now that Inktober is over, I, I'll come clean because this is the confessional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did cheat on two. Uh, the number 13 with Jason. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did a, a Jason Geo Trash. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And that one, I had posted that earlier because I drew it like in April, I think. But you inked it for Inktober. No, I didn't. I just, I, I just took the same thing. But I wanted to do something for Friday the Thirteenth. Ah, okay, yeah. And uh, and that one is just inks, and it's all black work, so it's only ah, okay. black. And so, and I hadn't posted it on my art account. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So it was only a tattoo thing. So I no post- one called you on it. No one called me Sons on it. Sons of bitches. Yeah. You got to keep score, guys. That's, that's the thing. got to keep track of this you, shit. You have to. <laughs> uh, so that one is uh, that was, was a cheat. And then um, the dragon that I tattooed, mm-hmm. I posted that one too. And that one I had drawn a couple of days before Inktober. But then I went in and did some paint splatters on it and <laughs> wrote Inktober on it. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. But I wanted to do like... Because obviously I wanted to take this chance to promote my tattoo stuff as oh, well. Oh, definitely, definitely. So that was my way in to do uh, just... Oh, shit. What are you doing? A sneeze is coming. He's, uh, he's sneezing. No, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. God you go. damn it. You jinx it. You jinx the sneeze. <laughs> that was uh, one third of a, an orgasm that you just Wasted. fucked off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> wasted it. Wasted it. This could have been good for all of us. <laughs> but yeah. So uh, with that said, I only did uh, the 29, I guess, this year. Shame on you. Yeah. Filthy man. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very and filthy. then I went nasal. <laughs> filthy <laughs> man. Filthy <laughs> man. Filthy <laughs> man. But yeah, but last week you, you posted yes. something on our Instagram. Yes, I did. Uh, so on the last day, well... I think if we go back, if we 
go back to not the previous episode, but the one before that, I think, we sort of announced an idea of doing oh, a I grand... cut it out, though. Oh, uh, you did. You told me to. I but was like, you, you didn't. Want to... <laughs> I didn't? No. It was there? Yeah. Oh, I accidentally... Yeah, yeah because that's Z why Z people Z. ask me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, So is shit. it happening? Oh, shit. Um, it didn't... Okay. Ah, uh, but it's okay. But anyway, so we, <laughs> we sort of announced that we were going to do like a little bit of an event or something, a get-together for the last day of Inktober. And I happily named it Inktoberfest. And I saw, obviously, I wasn't the genius, uh, the only genius to think of this because oh, really? the, the hashtag already existed with a couple Son of hundred. Of a, <laughs> Son of, uh, a couple of hundred? A couple of hundred That's fine. Sketchbook Heroes also Fuck had yeah. a hundred nice. when we nice. started. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so we stole that bitch. We stole <laughs> it. Uh, but anyways, so uh, after we sort of announced it and then I had a little think, I was like, no... There's not enough time to organize. Organize, like, uh, yeah. Because I wanted to do it a little bit more epic. Yeah. Like, actually put some time into it and rent the place or, you know, do it properly. Uh, but then I just, like, no, uh, there's not enough time. Fuck it. I'm not going to have time to do it. Uh, you don't have time to do it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, no. we just said no. But... Because they heard of it, <laughs> oh, uh, Nick Shine and uh, Gabe, they uh, wrote me and like, is it happening or not? And I was like, fuck, okay. Yeah, why the fuck not? That is cool. Because I had a smaller tattoo booked for uh, the Tuesday, which was the 31st, the yeah, last yeah, day. Yeah. And so I posted on the morning, mm -hmm. like the Tuesday morning, I wrote a little thing. Inktoberfest at Whitman's Deli uh, on the south part of Stockholm. Yeah. Uh, Robert's going to be there, like, finishing this epic journey. Just, like, if come and join him and finish yeah, blah, 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 yeah, whatever. Exactly. So it was, like, it was really an ego thing. Just Robert is going to sit there and draw. So, like, with that said, I didn't think anybody was going to fucking show up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I forgot to apparently edit it out. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So, <laughs> so yeah, a lot of people saw that post and uh, showed up for the fucking thing. That so, is cool. <laughs> that fucking, is, I really like Thank that. you all so much. I'm going to do a little list shout out here. Just uh, And I'm only doing the, the Instagram names. So uh, just so, so everybody's... Or no, I'll, I'll do both. But uh, in order of the appears. list <laughs> so uh obviously nick shine was one of the the minds who made it happen or made me do it yeah. and forced me nick shine thanks leflair dot zone uh, i'm guessing you don't have an instagram but that's all the, that you have leflair dot zone and then we have filippo at uh unes with a z unes mm -hmm. illustration uh, we have Pierre FMK, mm -hmm. we have Darana, we have Anna's Creative, and Gabriel Hunt, plus a VIP visit from Artem Solo. Solo, one of our guests from yes. episode 22. Yes, really epic, epic artist, uh, cool guy. Uh, and he was actually the one who wrote me because, like I said earlier, I had a small tattoo to do. It only took the whole fucking day and, <laughs> and a bit more. <laughs> it grew. Yeah, it did. It, it really grew. Uh, so I thought I was going to be finished at four. So I was like, we'll start the thing at six because then I have a couple of hours to chill out, go talk to uh, Chris, who owns mm -hmm. Whitman's Deli and, and set it all up. Uh, but yeah, no, I was finished with a tattoo quarter past six. <laughs> so Whoops. Artem wrote me at like six, <laughs> like, dude, where are you? And that's when I started panicking oh, because <laughs> <Yeah>. Artem <laughs> wrote me asking where I was. <laughs> so that meant a lot more people were going to show up probably. Mm -hmm. And they did. <laughs> and also Whitman's actually shouted us out on yeah, they did. Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then the open book people oh, also yeah, yeah, yeah. left. 10 art books yes uh so i'm i'm really sorry that i don't remember the name because i forgot to write that one down yeah uh but this <clears throat> is uh, one of the masterminds behind the drink and draw thing that was big in stockholm i guess oh, really? prob probably bigger in in the whole world i guess mm -hmm. um but yeah he uh because like i said i, I came late 
he had been in earlier and he left us 10 copies of the Drink and Draw book. But is it is that the Drink and Draw or is that the open book Stockholm thing no, that he left there? Drink and Draw. Is it Drink and Draw? Yes. Ah, okay. That yeah. was the thing. Um And that was fucking awesome. So if you're listening, man, thank you so much. And sorry for not giving you a proper shout out. But the Drink and Draw crew, uh, thank you for the books. Mm -hmm. And it's, I don't know why or how, but it was epically planned because every person who came to the uh, our drawing session got a copy plus you and me. Yeah, so that is it, like it was an exact number. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and it was really awesome. Everybody was having a great time, having a couple of beers, talking shit, uh, finishing up their Inktober's. Like everybody under the same roof at the same table. We took over the whole of Whitman's. Like that is awesome. <laughs> we pulled three tables together because everybody had to fit. I love that they like some places don't like to do that. Yeah, and it was so fun because we did it like. Uh, we were four people in the beginning and then more people came in so we took the first table and like stole it and I went up to get a new beer and uh, Elena who was uh, the bartender at the time or serving us she was like oh why don't you take the other table oh you already did great but she was going to suggest that we like take yeah, all yeah, the tables transform. <laughs> so that's how cool Whitman's were like they were really open awesome. and they they're all into the art scene and oh, really? all of that stuff uh, it's a great little quiet place good that's music awesome. good vibe great food uh, all the food and all the materials in the food is from Chris so oh. say you're ordering like some Thai dish with noodles and blah blah, blah. he's made everything even the soy sauce So he makes everything awesome. from scratch. He's from Canada. He's really awesome. Uh, Chris, is that the guy that left us a message? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, Chris told me to to call him. Uh, that was awesome. He reached out, left us a phone number to yeah. contact him on the Instagram. Yeah. Uh, he just wanted to make sure it was me. He thought it yeah, was, yeah. but he just wanted to be like 100% sure. And uh, he wanted to be there, but he had to go. So yeah, he yeah. left at like five. So I didn't get a chance to say thank you to him, but... Yeah, it was really cool and like again, I think I said it a billion times that night, but I was so overwhelmed with everything. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much for showing up. It was fucking awesome. Uh and a great way to end Inktober. So, I'm looking forward to next year's Inktoberfest. <laughs> Inktoberfest. No, but the next year <laughs> if we have a possibility, we, we'll try to make it like every now and then during Inktober, maybe you know, a couple of nights or like At the end of each week, just sort of a wrap up or something. Yeah, that I think that cool, would right? be cool. Yeah, once a week, because that yeah. way I think people could go there and do the five. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and maybe then, catch up. Exactly, I think so too. Like yeah. under pressure. <laughs> That's a good idea. And also, sorry for not showing up. I was actually supposed to work that day, but I didn't because my kid was sick, so I was at home. <laughs> uh, Otherwise, I would have showed up as well. Yeah, you were missed, man. But it was awesome. Like, I really enjoyed Like, thank you for posting and for doing a little short live, just seeing everyone there. Yeah. That was awesome. And that was Anna. Anna's creative. Thank you for... Thank uh, you, Anna. You for, are awesome. For thinking... Uh, someone's yeah, someone's <laughs> organized. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to do, like, a little groupie to, to show mm -hmm. Ilias how many people were there. And that, that was, like... Yeah. yeah, and I was, again, like, as soon as I came in... Like, because I ran from the tattoo shop to the place. I was Is so fucking stressed. It no, it's no, not. It's, it's not far. Weird. It's like a hundred meters or something. Oh, shit. Like, it's just around the corner. But I was like, fuck, I don't... Because I hate being late. Yeah, if, I if fucking you hate being yeah, late. I know, I know. Um, so, yeah, I came in and I was so stressed from, like, having to close the shop and finishing up with my client to going and coming into Whitman's, trying to be super social and having, like, all this... It was Darana, Artem... And, no, they uh, were already there. When yeah, you they were there. <laughs> so it's like already big names, and like I felt felt the pressure just coming in because these like everybody at the table were are so fucking skilled and good, amazing artists, each and every one of them. Uh, so yeah, it took me uh, like at least one beer before my brain <laughs> sort of uh, slowed just down. Slow down, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that sort of like forced pressure thingy just disappears. And also just because I was so uh, stressed. Uh, obviously, I sat down. We started talking, and we drew, and I did this epic like closure 
of Inktober with like a hand crushing a, a squid and like again with ink splatters all over the place and it's like die Inktober yes <laughs> and then I realized that was 30 oh <laughs> so I still had one dicks. left and it's like no <laughs> what did you do for the last one the last one was I drew a self portrait of me oh, hanging shit, yeah, myself yeah yeah, yeah 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 I saw that one with a little birdie on my well, head well I guess that was more fitting wasn't yeah, it like it was that end. epic and then like oh I failed and then you hang yourself yeah exactly <laughs> it's perfect plus I got to, to do a little extra birdie <laughs> yeah. You start off with a bird and then you finish with and the bird. And you give it the bird. <laughs> Have you heard about the bird? Everybody's heard about, about the, the bird. bird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, again, thank you all you guys who showed up and everybody for your support and thank you or congratulations everybody who <laughs> tried to do Inktober. Oh, in any should. way, yeah, even yeah. if you finished or not, like, fucking, yeah, good yeah, job. Yeah, the stress was real, no matter if exactly. you finished or not. Because I was, like, I was almost chilling half the month. Like, it was super easy. But then... But you were ahead, yeah. Long, yeah, I was ahead, time. like, for a long time. And then, like, the last couple of days just screwed me over. And then, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the heat is on. It was on. And next week, by the way, we have our friend Prakash that we've mentioned like a million times on this podcast coming in. Is he going to cancel again? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So he's going to join. We're going to talk a bit about everything, I think. I think we're going to do like a... Like, we'll see how this goes. And then see if we can make it... Like, we'll ask the normal questions, like mm -hmm. the regular shit. But then just like... Go a bit philosophic. And then, that's, you know, that's, like, go that's crazy. That's kind of what we do anyway. I know, I know. I'm just trying to make it sound special so everyone <laughs> tunes in. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so... so uh, just, apart, apart from Inktober, is there anything else that we're missing? Uh, how's it going with Australia? Australia, yeah. Any small updates? Oh, it's going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, again, big shout out to Nick Shine. Uh, really happy to, to talk to you face to face. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, Nick is from Australia. He's moved to Sweden with his girl. Just and... because of the Sketchbook Heroes, he moved here yes, just to listen course, to the podcast. Didn't yeah. realize you can find it online, but don't tell him. Yeah, we didn't make him say it. We... <laughs> uh, no, but a super, super generous guy. Awesome. Uh, good Swedish, too. For no, 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 dude. Yeah, it was like very good. But he gave me some great tips. So... I've been trying to figure out how to uh, pretty much just go down there and actually work. Mm -hmm. And that is kind of impossible. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, because again, I am older than 30 and yeah. that is the limit for the whole travel, uh, work travel visa. Oh, that's how it is. Yeah. Uh, so if you're under 30, like really take advantage of that thing because you have one year you can go there and just work and chill out. And then you can expand it for one more year when you're in, when the, you're country. in the country. Yeah. So, I mean, it's epic. Australia is fantastic. I love the place. Uh, granted, I've only been to Sydney and then pretty much from Sydney up to Byron Bay. So Dude. I haven't seen much, but fucking awesome. I love the place. If you think about how much of the actual land mass is, it's as big as the U.S., but they live in a fraction of it. So Yeah. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of desert, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyways... You've been around. It's fine. So, pretty much me trying to get a normal visa and go down there and work, that's not happening. What? So, what, uh, what Nick gave me uh, sort of a little tip about, and I've heard this from other people as well, after he gave me the first heads up, was go down on a study visa, like... You can travel with your study visa, and I don't know the limit for it, but I think mm -hmm. it's maybe a year or whatever time period your study period is. Uh, so he said, if I only enroll or enlist in some online class, it still counts. What? So awesome. technically I'm studying, so I can go there on a study visa. I mean, I still need to look this up more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally. uh, but... That sort of opened up a whole new world for me in terms of what I can do when I go down there. So, 
<laughs> yeah, you keep. Yeah, I know. No. You, you hear me I, go down all the time. No, 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 no. Actually, no. <laughs> really? I was like, Nick, can show you the world <laughs> and go down. Shiny, <laughs> shimmering, splendid. No, <laughs> no, no. Over, sideways, <laughs> down, under. Yeah, Ilias is On a magic doing a lot of ride. inappropriate yeah, things. <laughs> you just hear the song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Beautiful voice. Mm, like an angel <laughs> falling from the sky. Yeah, something. That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so now my plan is uh, to try and find something to study. Either like go from scratch and do like a proper art course. No. So I can learn proper Economics. color theory no. <laughs> and uh, like learn how to paint with oils for real. Like all that stuff. Like mm -hmm. traditional art stuff. That would be really cool. That would be cool. I haven't done that in ages. I've forgotten everything that uh, there is to know. I don't know anything now. Mm -hmm. So that's one plan. The other plan, which I think would be the better option, is for me to actually finish my bachelor's. Oh, yeah. That because be, I yeah. still have my... Uh, but what would you use that for? I, I see more value in the <laughs> tradition. Like, I, yeah, I, no, no. I, feel I totally it. get that but you I get would a get, degree. I would get my degree. Have you ever had to use it? Like, has anyone ever like, oh, to apply for this or to do this gig, you need a degree? No, but I mean, sooner or later, my toilet paper is going to run out. So True. there's always that. The worth of the paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the actual <laughs> point. <laughs> uh, but it would be like, yeah. it'd be nice just to have the degree, mm -hmm. I think. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I have put the time in, I've done all that, and I still don't have a degree. Yeah. So it's sort of like, why the fuck did I do it if I didn't need it? Yeah. Yeah. True. So, but I need to check that out because I think, like, it's been so long since I sort of finished school that... I might have to like do a couple of new classes or maybe even the whole program before uh, I can get my degree. I don't know. So I need to check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, or I just do an online class and I go down there and uh, yeah, see what Whichever happens. works, I think. Whichever works. Yeah. The thing is with the, with the student visa, you can still work. That's and I can awesome. work 15 yeah. hours a week. So, Money. I mean, it's, it's still okay, and that way, because I'm gonna, I'm still gonna apply for the tattoo permit that yeah, you yeah, need yeah. in New South Wales, uh, in Sydney, so I can tattoo, mm -hmm. and then I can tattoo like, fifteen hours a week, still Always make something. money, yeah, yeah. Uh, still tattoo, and also maybe get some awesome education while doing it. Do it. Plus surfing and sunshine and weed and all the good things in life. So God yeah, damn it, yeah. But it's still like, because that, that's all the, the, the fun stuff. Yeah. yeah then course. I still have this whole thing here where I have to, like, I have, oh, to, you have to pay rent here and everything. I yeah. have to, like, rent Bad. out my apartment. I need to find somebody that can rent it because it's going to be that's like. That's never a problem at this office. Okay. Like, if that, you want, oh, but yeah, good. like, if you want nice. me to shout it out here, yeah. Yeah. There's always uh, someone looking. Awesome. Because it's going to be like, I guess, maybe 10,000 a month Dude, or so. Not a problem. Uh, and it's going to be fully furnished with all my DVDs, so... You better be real careful, motherfuckers. Maybe 12,000. Yeah. <laughs> because of all the DVDs exactly. and comics. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, it's like a Netflix account in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a live Netflix yeah, account yeah. with all the shows and movies yeah, that you no ever want to see. Yeah, with no sort of, like, uh, you know, like, restrictions. <laughs> no, no. There's even one porno in there somewhere. If you can find it, yeah. yeah there's a yeah. lot of movies. So funny. <laughs> I don't know why my girlfriends always find that. Oh, they find it? Yeah, and they always like, what's this? This looks interesting, because it doesn't look like a porn. And then they uh, grab it, it's like, it's a movie called All About Anna, which is funny, because my, my girlfriend, girlfriend is... is yeah, Anna, yeah, 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 my girlfriend's Anna. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it just looks like a normal movie. So they're like, oh, what's this? This looks interesting. I'm like, we yeah, 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 we should watch it. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in Hollywood, <laughs> Anna works as a waitress. Yeah, well, not not really. Nah, nah, no, I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, so that's that thing, and I need to like cancel all my other stuff, and you know, the, my whole life here oh, sort dude. of has to and end. And all your clients, all of that, yeah, all that jazz. Holy shit! Like, there's so much. So like, every time I start thinking about yeah, it, my brain gets it. overheated, <laughs> and I just want to collapse and like start vomiting through my nose or anus i don't know that's nice yeah 
So yeah, really looking forward to this trip. <laughs> no, there's a lot of stress involved, but I am really happy. Like, cause yeah, yeah, yeah. I have decided to go. I am going. Uh, now it's just like I need to, I need to save more money because reality hits you every no, you once need in a to while. Buy a recording device for the podcast. <laughs> yeah, well, or you can take this one and I can buy another one. Well, it doesn't matter. Either way, I gonna, I will. I need yeah, to because yes. I think you you're gonna need mm -hmm. to save more than I will. So. You can grab this one. I'll grab another one. They, yeah. were, they were surprisingly affordable. Nice. Uh, but yeah. And also, we want, just want to say like a big thanks. I've seen that more reviews of the podcast have come in around the world. Unfortunately, I did not write them down. <laughs> Because, you know, without my PC, I, can't, I can only reach them on PC for some reason. Okay. Uh, because when I try to read them through my Mac... It sort of prompts them to open on iTunes, and I can't like it doesn't direct me to the page that oh, I want to yeah. go. Yeah, there's some weird Mac thing that like oh this we read it like this, and it prompts up yeah. the, the iTunes uh, thing. There, yeah, there's always some fucking issue with iTunes yeah, for some iTunes, reason. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's not an issue really. But no, but I've had can't... problems with iTunes with the normal stuff as well. Like I just want to open my because I used my old iPod you remember yeah, that one yeah, I, remember that. I used it as an like an external hard drive uh, hard drive yeah, yeah because yeah. it was really big and uh, oh, but you sp open spacious. it on a Mac yeah, and then yeah, yeah. I open it on a Mac and I can't yeah. get into it yeah, yeah, yeah because know, then it I just know. opens, it opens as, as an iPod, as, uh, an iPod yeah. <laughs> and then it wants to like synchronize and import but and I blah thought blah blah you could, like, like through the you probably fine? can yeah, yeah, yeah like and i i have i have been able to as well but then right. it always like yeah it's still itunes still comes in yeah, and wants to fuck with things yeah you can turn that off you can turn off you it can, from yeah. automatically popping up but it, i think there's an option like use it as a portable hardware or Probably. something like that. but fuck it yeah fuck that's it. not interesting for you guys uh, <laughs> but anyways thank you guys for <laughs> big thanks again like for reaching out on sketchbook heroes instagram facebook sketchbookheroes.com even yeah Uh, we, we really appreciate every time you make contact and just awesome. have like it's feedback or it's you know what what whatever it may be uh, we really appreciate it it's super fun to hear from you guys yeah i mean it i mean it's very obvious but it's like we really get connected with you mm -hmm. and it like it makes all this so much more worth it in a way yeah like definitely even the, uh... the live streams that we do prior to recording mm -hmm. Yeah, like that people... you guys join and it's usually like the same faces. Yeah, but it's still awesome. But it's still awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the silly questions or whatever it may be is, you know, like it's it's great fun. Yeah. Nah, super awesome. Um yeah, so with that said, yeah, go in, said. vote, uh, follow all that stuff, all that jazz. And we'll be back after the break. Yes. <laughs> And we're back. Uh, and we're going to try this confessional thing that we've been doing pretty much up till now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's going to continue. We're going to sort of talk about things. Yeah, we're going to go uh, R-rated and X-rated. X-rated and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck-rated. Space-rated, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to try a new format today. Uh, it might suck balls. It might be amazingly amazing. You know. Who knows? Who knows? We'll try it out. We'll give it a silly name. <laughs> uh, you you're probably not even gonna hear any difference from this to uh, any other any episode. other episode. <laughs> But I, yeah, you've been warned. But actually, I, I I did actually consider something since we're just gonna go on and do talk about things. Uh, Sweet. I was thinking about what what is this podcast like? What is the Sketchbook Heroes podcast? And sort of how does it differentiate from you know like Pencil Kings, uh, Chew Stream, uh, Art Side of Life. life art side of life uh, yeah. and any other art podcasts out there like what is the difference with sketchbook heroes like in comparison to those shows well i listen to sketchbook heroes yeah but not those yeah i think little... that's the big difference the big difference yeah <laughs> <laughs> but no. it's i think it's mainly because uh, i like hearing myself mm, yeah, yeah yeah no sorry no but but truly i i do listen to chew street which is the one i enjoy the other ones pencil kings i've only listened to one episode yeah but What I'm missing with some of these episodes is that they're, it's, I don't know, there is no, like, I like the dual dynamic, like, personally, mm -hmm. when I listen. Now, I know that Bobby Chu doesn't have it in his Chu stream, but I still enjoy that one, because it's sort of like, I like what's coming out of it, and yeah. 
I know the people that are interviewed every now and then, or I've heard them several times. Mm. But I, 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 I've sort of started realizing what the Sketchbook Heroes podcast is about. And we talk about the stuff we love, like the art tools that we love. Yeah. We talk about the nerdy stuff that we love. Uh, it's all very personal. I think so. I think it's a bit more personal. And we also like, we are like more of, com like, I think it's a companion, com like, podcast. Mm -hmm. Like when you draw, you can listen to these two guys sort of like share everything that they love to do. Yeah. And I'm not saying that these other podcasts aren't doing it because I listen to them. I enjoy them. Uh, but I think what what defines us is what I'm trying to say. This mm -hmm. is not a comparison. No. Uh, but where we sort of differ is that we talk a bit more about other stuff as well. Like we don't just like, I don't want this podcast to just be like, well, some good art tips are, or, you know, like, like we're going to have that. That's yeah. always going to be like a part of it, you know, like, but I, I really enjoy that. We talk about pencils. We talk about markers. We talk about, you know, that stuff that no one else is touching upon. Mm. Like, sure, they're not important in the sense of if you're going to be a good artist or not. No. Like, because if you can't draw, those aren't going to make no, a difference. Exactly. Uh, but I, I really enjoy, though, that we can talk about them. Like, because we, I, I really love pens. Like, mm -hmm. I love sketchbooks. Yeah. I love breaking up a new sketchbook. I love the anxiety it gives me. I love breaking that anxiety. Mm. You know, all those things that sort of are part of the everyday artist life. The smell of a new marker. Exactly. Yeah. Just drawing with markers and sort of enjoying all of the experience yeah. that comes with it, right? Because yes. no one talks about those things that are like a bit closer to home than like I'm a successful artist and I do this and yeah. I this work is how I work. Yeah, 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 I mean, we still we still do that, and I think most of the stuff no that we've done also is because we think that you guys want to hear this stuff, and it's like. I think, I mean, I'm, this is the confessional, so I'm just yeah, yeah. brutally honest here. But, like, we're guessing every time we do an episode. We have no idea if this is going to be a hit or not a hit. Yeah, yeah, but I think we can't think about it as a hit or miss either. <laughs> like, you have to go in and sort of, like... Because I usually have... Like, when I talk social media, mm. I sort of... I'm going out of a place where I've been. You know, like, I'm trying out things... Um, like I hypothesize about things and I'm like, oh, maybe if I do this, this will happen. Mm. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Of course. I mean, and we have to, yeah. uh, but that's <laughs> the whole journey of this podcast also, mm -hmm. which is really awesome. I mean, we're 43 episodes in now. This we insane. thought we weren't going to make fucking eight or <laughs> Harald <laughs> fucking. He's like, if you survive eight, you'll, yeah, then, you'll... then you'll be, then you'll be fine. Then you can make it. But. But wasn't that your friend? It wasn't Harald. It was Harald. Was it? Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. But yeah. No, I totally agree. Like, because, again, this is the episode that I actually listened to. <laughs> or not episode, <laughs> no, the, no. the podcast that I listened to. And it, it might sound extremely retarded because it is our podcast. But yeah. even if it's us and I know what we've talked about and stuff, mm -hmm. it's still more fun to listen to than most of the other ones. Because they 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 don't really give me anything, uh, and when I listen to this, obviously it's just you know remembering us sitting here having a good time. But it's also <laughs> a lot of time we sit here and talk, and you don't remember what the fuck you talked about. I, exactly that. Like sometimes, <laughs> you're like, what it's... the fuck did we say? Because <laughs> you get into it so much, and you're yeah, like yeah, in yeah, the dude. moment, and you're and talking. Sometimes yeah and sometimes One of the don't th <laughs> why did i say that exactly. or like that's not how i meant it to sound yeah yeah, yeah. and like especially in the beginning when we were listening i'm like oh Dude, we're coming off as assholes on this episode <laughs> and that's not a, that's not at all how i heard it when we were recording no exactly you know and oh man it's so fucking out there sometimes like i say shit and i'm like should not have said that and there's no good way of editing it out without it sort yeah, of like sounding like bleep. Yeah. Like yeah. except bleeping, you know, like. Yeah, but that, yeah. And I think that's the whole, again, the the charm and the, the, the thing that makes us stand out a bit from the typical podcasts. Because mm. we are just two fucking morons talking shit about stuff we love. Yeah. And I think that's why I also enjoy like movies like... Uh, that that have no real purpose. Like uh, they do have a purpose, but I mean, like they're in the way they're made. Uh, like mall rats. Mm. It's like that everyday shit. Like yeah. that's like if you saw that in like real life, it wouldn't be that 
fun, you know, but it's fun <laughs> being part of it. Or, you yeah. know, like, is that what Mallrat sort of does? Yeah. Or, you know, any Kevin Smith movie, really. Pretty much. Like, just working in the convenience store that, mm -hmm. with Dante clerks. and yeah. Clerks. Yeah. Like, that movie, nothing really happens, you know, except those, like, small points where someone... I don't want to give it away. No. But it's you an need, old movie. You yeah, need but to see I don't it. want to ruin it. You need it. to see it. But uh, it's really the, those everyday moments that you sort of share with a friend, mm. like your best friend or, you know, like someone, just like someone that means something to you yeah. and you do mundane shit and it's still the best time you had. Yeah. Like you might not realize it at the time while you're sitting there and saying, I'm not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> but, you know, like, yeah. and like when you see it later, you're just like, those were good times. Yeah. Though. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. So I, I want the podcast to sort of be that. Yeah, like you, that, you, I think that's one of the best explanations of the podcast, actually. Yeah, because yeah, when you sit there and draw, you just want to be with your friends. Yeah. And I want you guys to sort of feel like we are your friends. Yeah. Like That's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like we talk shit. We have some art stuff like, oh, you should try this or that or check this movie out mm -hmm. or, you know, like... Yeah. And then it usually comes from an art place because that's who we are. So, yeah. like, no matter how we sort of twist and turn it, it'll... sorry, guys, I'm very sort of clogged up. And... <laughs> it's burpy. And burpy. Uh... But, yeah, this cold thing is really killing me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I just want it to be authentic. I don't want it sort of like, oh, oh we don't curse or we don't do any. Like, if we do it, Fuck we're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to do it, like. <laughs> And yeah, but that like if if that had been the case, I would never have done the podcast. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. For it, me, it's so like many it, rules. Yeah, yeah I would it's not always have done. been really important that we could just be ourselves and not have to worry about those the way we say things. Yeah, because that's that was my number one worry actually getting into this that we were going to record here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that there oh, might have been be some sort some of sort restriction. Of, I don't like, think anyone listens enough. No, to <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was just like, fuck right. it, let's just go, and then if they cancel us, they cancel us. Yeah, or like, yeah, we're just we're gonna, just gonna move, record yeah, it some other place. Somewhere else, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, we, uh, we no. are this way, and I think for those of you that have met us, you can actually uh, testify that this is the way we are, and this yeah. is how we talk, uh, and yeah, just no, deal with know. it. People, no. if you don't like it, then no. But I, I think we've said like even if you go back, it's been forty three episodes. I, I can promise you, we've said some offensive stuff over the time. Oh yeah. And the thing is, like, I don't have a problem confessing that I've done wrong at some point. Like, there's probably I could go back, like let's say today, and listen to like the third episode or something. <laughs> I don't know what happens on the third episode, but I'm just saying that there could be something that I said there that I would like. I'm I'm not ashamed to say I'm sorry if I feel that I'm in the wrong or if someone feels that they that I've wronged them. Like and I think this podcast doesn't talk in like definitive terms as though like do this or do that and we are right and you are wrong or exactly. anything like that. No, no, it's no. like there are several ways to skin a cat, is that the saying? Dude, I don't uh, know. I've yeah, never, whatever. Yeah. I've never, <laughs> I've skinned, never the cat. skinned a cat either <laughs> in any type of way. Uh but That's what we're horrible. saying is that there's <laughs> several ways to do the one thing, you know. Like, yeah. It's like a like a my anyone who's d dabbled dabbed in 3D, mm -hmm. like there's like five million ways of doing the one thing. Yeah. Uh, so this is pretty much this podcast is that. Yeah, it's like one it's, of the five million. <laughs> it's one of the five million way, yeah, ways of doing yeah. the one thing. Uh, so, and also remember, if it sounds offensive, it's probably just. Yeah, a badly thought of joke, and please call us out on it if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you feel that, oh, dude, so you are fucking racist. Like I wouldn't mind you saying that because sometimes you say shit in the spur of the moment, talking to your best friend. And I'm guessing we're all sort of guilty to this, but I'm mm -hmm. gonna sort of refer to myself now <laughs> uh, that I've said stuff that would be so fucking inappropriate that if this podcast was any bigger and that was taken out of context, oh yeah. You could just put a Hitler stash on me pretty much just like, just to exaggerate, you know, yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying that when you talk to your best friend and you want something honest to come out of the, the conversations that we're having, it's so easy to sort of go fucking yeah. ape shit. And then afterwards you're like, oh, that fuck. did not sound good. <laughs> yeah. I listened to the Joe Rogan podcast uh -huh. and he said some joke about Corey Feldman that we talked about oh, last yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. And he said that, was that the jacket he was wearing when he got diddled by his whatever? <laughs> And in hindsight, he was like, that is a terrible thing to say if, because it did yeah, happen, like yeah. not in that jacket, but mm-hmm. you know, like, but he did it to make the other guy laugh because they yeah. were sort of like in There, a place. It's the spur of the moment. Type yeah. Thing but then and, afterwards yeah. he went out and apologized. And I think that that's how it should be. Yeah. Like you do something stupid, like live a life and don't make any stupid mistakes. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Luck. You're going to be fun. the most boring person. Exactly. Uh, I think the mistakes that we make sort of define us and then we yeah. try not to be like enormous enormous fucking assholes but you know like you're gonna step on some toes so yeah uh, this I podcast mean, is all about assholes uh, all that. <laughs> <laughs> two assholes yeah big time and a cup no just kidding <laughs> <laughs> oh man but yeah no so uh, and again i mean i've said this before but i am really grateful to be here to be able to do this with you uh and it's i mean it's been a fun ride man we've done this fuck since the beginning of this year yeah yeah the end of the year is fucking just no no actually uh, the 25th of january or 26th was that our (laughs) is that our birthday that is our birthday that is our one year anniversary damn that's awesome so that is pretty cool and yeah it's not far now i mean a couple of months and Mm -hmm. we're there And one of the cool things about making a podcast, if anyone's considering making an art podcast, fall down a flight of stairs. But if you're planning, <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, no, we'll but, push it. But 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 if you have, uh, but if you have ambitions to do a podcast, no matter the topic, like that doesn't matter, and you have a chance to do it with someone that you sort of like, like, or if you just like talking yourself and inviting guests or anything. Uh, I think it's one of those like single, like nowadays we don't get to talk to each other in the same no. way that we used to. Remember when you had discussions about bullshit, mm-hmm. but you couldn't Google them? Yeah. Or like you could Google them, but nobody wanted to go to a computer to do it. And before that, you couldn't even do that. Nobody really knew about Google. Exactly. <laughs> no, but I mean like you you were all just mansplaining, woman-splaining. Everyone was just making up fucking we answers. Everything. Everyone was yeah. just making up their own hypothesis about mm-hmm. things. And then at the end, you Google, or you like, you, you I don't or know, you, you open like up. a dictionary, mm-hmm. or like, a, not a dictionary, but one of those, uh, what do you call Encyclopedia. them? Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia things. Yeah. And you were just like, we were all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> we were all fucking out there. Mm-hmm. And on a podcast, since you can't, like, if you sit on your phone, the conversation sort of dies. Oh, yeah. And you have to talk. Like, you have to discuss things. And sometimes you say wrong. You Like, you do wrong. (laughs) You do majorly. Like, you fuck up. And especially for us, Swedish is our first language. Yeah. English is sort of like the the translating on the go thing that yeah. we're doing sort of like and that's the thing because sometimes you can hear the lag oh dude like our brains just go beep beep mm-hmm. beep and then you say something but it's just because sometimes you can't find the right word and you're yeah, like yeah, yeah. the fuck man uh yeah yeah but yeah. it's all a part of our uh, Swedish charm yeah, yeah of course of course straight <laughs> out of Stockholm yeah oh uh, just hear that song now mm-hmm. yeah So yeah, yeah it's Took just a couple of geeks with an attitude. Yeah. yeah I want to reinvent the song now. <laughs> But yeah, with that all with all that said, uh again, we're just super thankful to be able to do it. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening and being a part of the journey and being our sketchbook heroes out mm-hmm. there. So spread the word to everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. please. please. <laughs> so dude, are you working on anything like in particular like personal work right now? Uh, well, I just worked through my uh, art block, pretty much. Or I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, call it an art block because I've still been able to create stuff. But is like, it more like because of Inktober, sort of that pressure being no, on and tattoos? No, I, I wanted Inktober to help me through my art block ah, or okay, inspiration okay. It was already block. before. Okay. Yeah, so I never, I didn't feel like drawing or painting or doing anything, mm-hmm. but I wanted to. Like, it's sort of hard to explain because I, I'm talking against myself here but yeah i wanted to create stuff but the drive isn't there and i like haven't had any motivation or inspiration to do anything and every time i opened a book a sketchbook and wanted to draw something no nothing happened it was just blank page me staring into the abyss and Mm -hmm. like uh but this weekend like this saturday i just 
like uh, Anna was going out with her friends and I uh, actually I thought I was going to go to a Halloween party but it turned out to be on the Friday instead and I couldn't go on that one so I was in my mind I was just planning to be at home by myself chilling out <laughs> and that's what I did so I got, I got yeah, invited to nice. two parties for the Saturday and I just said no to both uh, went home poured myself a giant glass of wine uh, smoked a spliff <laughs> and just sort of forced myself to create so I'd been tattooing uh, my client Frederick uh, mm -hmm. during the day and it was just small tattoos but we were talking about some more projects we wanted to do and that gave me an idea for the piece that came oh, out oh, that was the piece okay, of cool. uh, the Saturday I guess so the idea was just to do my geo trash style but with a Buddha mm -hmm. incorporated somehow because he had seen one of the Buddha heads I'd done on another client it was just black, you know. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, it was, like silhouette. Yeah, or, yeah sort yeah. of a silhouette like type hard thing. Shadows, hard shadows, yeah, hard just shadows. pure black, no shading. Mm -hmm. uh, and he saw that, and he wanted something similar. And I was like, "Yeah, I've actually thought about doing something more like that, but with geo geo trash." So that was the only idea I had. Uh, went home uh, and sort of got to work. So I drew up uh, the line for the middle of the page drew up the Buddha head and then like piece by piece started to evolve the piece mm -hmm. without actually thinking too much and it was a great process and uh, normally when I smoke weed I like I get super stoned and I just pass out in the couch <laughs> and I watch movies and drool and eat a lot of junk food <laughs> I pretty much did all that now but I didn't pass out <laughs> but also uh I've always been like really envious of people getting a creative drive from, from smoking this. stuff. Uh, I can do it like if I drink, mm. I can get really creative and I can stay up drawing forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like we used to do back in the day. Uh, there is proof. There is proof out there. <laughs> yes, uh, but so this time, and we talked about this earlier, but to this time I sort of found the magical balance between the two. Mm -hmm. So I, it wasn't like it wasn't way too much weed and it wasn't way too much wine. It was just somewhere in the middle of everything, uh, and like I didn't stress it too. And I think that was the major component because mm -hmm. normally if you sit down, and you're like, I have to do this and I have to finish it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this time I was like, I started it. I drew until I didn't want to anymore. I put it aside and I watched some movies or shows, and then I got the urge again, brought it back up and kept going like that. I mean, it took forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I stayed up until like half past four or five. <laughs> like it just kept on going. But I like I snapped the picture for each of the different steps. So there's six pictures on my I Instagram. I love that you have this state of mind to sort of make progress. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. I wasn't that wasted. That was the no, good thing. No, no, no. But I mean, just like <laughs> being in that headspace, like, yeah, I should probably progress. Yeah, but it's also for myself so I can look no, back definitely, and see definitely, the different yeah. stages and how, like, if I fucked it up somewhere, mm -hmm. I can see, like, well, why the fuck did I did? Why did I do that? Yeah. But it was really cool. And then because I didn't think about each like the whole piece i just thought about oh i want to do this now mm -hmm. the the piece sort of when i took a step back and saw the finished piece sort of the day after when it was like in good light and i could photograph it again it was so cool like because it's sort of i mean it's it's all in the eyes of the beholder obviously but when i look at it, it it's actually I, really good i saw it this morning yeah i'd see like if you look at the stages of it it's mm -hmm. sort of death and how that is the beginning of everything and it goes down and then to buddhism and the reincarnation mm -hmm. and you turn into this bird and the circle of life whatever uh but it like it sort of got a deeper meaning yeah even yeah, if well. i didn't plan shit <laughs> or maybe i did i don't know yeah but it was like it was really really interesting uh, and I love that whole process. I mean, I'm not going to go home and sit stoned every fucking day and create stuff like yeah, this Yeah, just now. to draw. Yeah, you shouldn't yeah. rely on one thing no, to no, be no. creative. Definitely you should be not. able to do it in all states. Yeah, and I mean, like everybody keeps like, oh, weed is so dangerous, it's a gateway drug uh, and blah, blah, blah. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, I mean, for, I guess, weak-minded people that have an easy thing for I addiction, think, uh, yeah, then, yeah, I think. Uh, yes, 
it could be a gateway. But is that a but mind thing, though, or is that something like I don't, I don't know. know? I don't know how that works. I uh, can't I'm th- no, but I'm thinking of people that have, uh, you know, like what do you call it? Uh, like if there's alcoholism in the family, it's mm-hmm. not really a weak mind. It's mostly sort of like, like you have a. I don't know what you call it. But like in your genes or like yeah, in your yeah, DNA? You, yeah, yeah. You have like a... Oh, man. There's a word for it. I can't find the word. This is where we need the live. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they always throw <laughs> the word. They help at. us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but... But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't know if that's proven to be true or false or anything either. But I think that people that grow up with alcoholism in their families have a tendency of like being more... But, yeah. Ass- 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 Accessible or no, no, no. but it, yeah, whatever the word is, they my brain is just, might become alcoholic. Yeah, 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 yeah. they have a higher yeah. risk. Yeah, or, no, I, so so I, I I would be careful of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not standing here promoting like drugs and alcohol for no. That's being not what created. I mean. No, that's not what I mean. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry yeah. if if people get upset for me talking about this, but it is like it's always up there. Yeah, uh, and it's always a big thing in the world. Like, it's so unnecessary, like, to make it into this. Like, there's people serving almost lifetimes in jail because of oh. just fucking weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but there is like weed has no proven negative effects. No, the only thing. Well, your mind, if you're not fully developed and you start smoking weed, it will affect your brain because it's not gonna i don't think it does i it, don't think it does that is proven is like, it really yeah because i think it slows your the brain ev- like the evolution of your brain or like okay. the way yeah, it grows I, I don't remember but we're but talking like well it, i did I, start like i started really early what was i like 13 seventh grade so that's why he says stupid shit <laughs> exactly <laughs> so my brain isn't fully developed <laughs> so he could be just making yeah. this up uh no but it like obviously you need to be yeah. careful with everything like no, all no, no, substances but, but of course moderation with everything yeah. but that, that's the thing but and i mean yeah. it's yeah no i just you need to know that like just normal cigarettes it's it's mm. even worse than weed like it contains yeah, poisonous that is shit proven. yeah that yeah. is actually proven. so that that shit affects you and your life even more and that's legal i mean yeah yeah and also we can, we can debate this all day no no, no but i mean yeah. like uh weed also has like it has medical proven uses oh, to yeah, so- yeah. stop For seizures and, yeah, and you know like epi- uh, yeah, and, yeah all, and all that stuff mm-hmm. where cigarettes have none also, and they're legal <laughs> so. like weed is great for um <sighs> Uh, what's it called? Um, uh, anorexia. Is that true? Because <laughs> that sounds like bullshit. <laughs> I'm calling that, bullshit, dude. That's a line from Pineapple Express. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, th- I thought I, I was like that. I have a medical like... condition. I have anorexia. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's horrible. I know way too many people with anorexia. I'm really sorry. But that line is fucking hilarious because I do oh. eat like a motherfucker. Like when I get stoned, I get the munchies like a son of a bitch, and I can eat like five full, like, meals, plus a Ben and Jerry's and, and a some baby. chips. <laughs> yeah, there's probably a baby in there somewhere. I don't know. It's horrible. Come. <laughs> <laughs> it no, sounds like so I just finished that with cum. cum. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard too. I was, yeah, was going to follow that up, and then I just cut it off, yeah, and then like just nice. <laughs> and then it will come. Yeah, let's drop that at yeah, cum. we're dropping it. Uh, but yeah, no, that whole process. Anyways, it was yeah, really yeah. nice, uh, and I mean, it was really slow, but it did cure my uh, inspiration block. So now, like, I feel like creating again, and it feels good, and I'm back in the the that's saddle. Awesome. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I just want to keep doing stuff like this and evolve my mm-hmm. geo trash style even more. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see where it goes. I have an art tip to throw in there as well. Mm-hmm. While on the subject of recording process while you're high, yeah. <laughs> actually, uh, if you are drawing traditionally, and it's it's super hard to sort of zoom out, use your phone since it automatically zooms out for you uh, with the way that the glasses or the the what do you call it, the lens Lens. Uh, use that because like early in the process i'm not saying when you're done because then it's too late (laughs) Uh, but early on use your phone is sort of like uh it's like when you flip your canvas on you know like the yeah yeah, you see mistakes Mm. uh or you zoom out to see mistakes 
use your phone for traditional work to do that because uh, it really does help and it's saved me a bunch of times because every time I forget and I sort of I'm at the end stage and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to post a picture. And then you're like, wop, 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 <laughs> and you have to take the photo in an angle to make it look correct. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, oh, but, yeah. That's pretty much because every time. Some, no, but sometimes <laughs> when you draw, like depending on the way you draw and the way you sit, you're seeing your, your sort of, you have your sketchbook flat on the table. Yeah. And, and you're drawing an it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The, the angle is just like. From where you're sitting to where the head ends of your mm -hmm. character. Let's just say that. Yeah. And then once you like flip it up and like see it straight, you've drawn it sort of like slightly skewed. Oh, yeah. So it's really good to use your phone every now and then to sort of see because you catch those things really clearly. And it's. And that's actually a great tip. If there are any tattoo artists out there, uh, that's a great tip as well. Like if you're just about to like be finished with your piece. Take a picture with your iPhone or your phone and look at it and then you can like see if you are finished or not because yeah, it's easier yeah, yeah. just like Ilya said with the, the sketch it works the same way so it's easier for you, for you to see that oh shit I missed this part yeah, yeah, yeah. or this thing looks a bit wonky I need to fix this you know all that stuff mm -hmm. let's say before you go in with the whites if yeah, you're doing yeah, yeah. a piece like that snap a pic look at it and then assess and uh, finish. It's a good tip. Uh, it does take some time off, like away from work, uh, but it will help you. Like I never do this. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying this. <laughs> I want to help you guys. <laughs> uh, but it's a really good tip. Yes. Uh, and now to sort of dive into something entirely different. <laughs> yes. Uh, but sort of picking off from Inktober, <laughs> uh, I really miss drawing on the iPad. Yeah. Like, yeah, dude, I was so happy. Like, I didn't realize how happy I was. Like, I just took my iPad. I charged it up for the first time. I haven't touched digital <laughs> at all for a month. And I just took my iPad and the Apple Pencil, charged them both overnight. You know, just sat on the train, <laughs> did nothing, like, important or major. Just doodled a couple of small things. Also planning a collaboration with... Francis, a guy on Instagram. Actually, I'll give him a proper shout out. Uh, but I don't do a lot of collaborations. Last time I did one was uh, we did an art trade with. Uh, oh shit, his name. Was that the Back to the Future thing? What? No, no, no. That was the one pre like after that. Mm -hmm. Um, because it's the <laughs> I never remember his name though. Like, but Francis underscore Joseph one does these awesome sort of like vector graphics. Like he does a little like iPhone with headphones floating, like super cool, like a little stormtrooper, some Nintendo Switch stuff, you know. You can never go wrong with and stormtroopers. It's just like super simple design. Cute. And I would and, love that. Yeah. And we thought of doing a collaboration. So we're both sort of sketching. To try to find some fun things to do with that. But I'm so, like, it's so much fun to be back on the digital train as well. <laughs> like, I posted something from work recently on Instagram. Like, a little background that I did. Mm, I saw it. Uh, also, I switched from a, a business account, Instagram, to a regular, you know, personal account. A private uh, or... No, no, no. Private is just, you know, like no one, they have to ask you permission oh, okay. and no one can but see yourself. No, this is just a remove... personal. Oh, okay. So you don't get the stats, you don't get the links to link in your story. You that's know, like awesome. That stuff. I think I'm going to do the same, actually. So I'm I'm just doing it as sort of like a trial and error because of all the rumors. Like, you know, I, I paid for Instagram. It was shit. Hmm. Now I'm testing to go back to personal and like try to use it for a couple of weeks and see if that changes engagement in any way. Yeah. And that's of course a good thing, I, I mean, because now I, I have the option of doing both. So I can actually, because oh, my ta know, the yeah, tattoo yeah, yeah. one is, obviously, it needs to be business because yeah. I need people to be able to, yeah. like, email me directly and all that. But my artsy one, you know, you it care. doesn't, it doesn't like, matter. It, it was never a problem before it became a business account. Mm -hmm. That's when I got most of my gigs, you know, the big ones. Yeah. Uh, so I'm switching back just to see how Instagram algorithms work with the personal accounts. Because I'm guessing there's a difference. Because, uh, you know, they want uh, business accounts to pay for their exposure. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm just going to try that out for a month and see if it's worth 
sort of staying personal. Because nice. I really enjoy the stats and everything. But if it's pulling down engagement f- because Instagram is trying to strong arm into paying, I don't make that much out of Instagram to sort of afford to pay them over time, you know. Mm. For And like I said last time, it wasn't worth paying because you get the likes. You get like, let's say, double the likes. Yeah. That I got, but I got no real followers. I got nothing from it. I got empty likes. That's what it felt like. It was like mm. paying a robot to sort of like stuff, you know? Like, it was just... Like, I, I don't care about the likes. I want the engagement. I want the thing that I have with you guys. Like, when you join my live streams, it might only be, like, between 10 and 20 of you, but we're having a good time. That's the thing I want. You know, the rest is just bullshit. And now Robert just switched to personal. <laughs> I just went account. private. <laughs> or not, not private. Personal. 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 Yeah, I said private as well to and someone. this is good because now I can say that I have 4,900 followers. Exactly. 4,900. Exactly, yeah. That's pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll see if anything happens, any changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just that, that you go into the likes and you don't have the fucking thing yeah, in the top and... saying stuff. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm so tired of that no stuff stats. as well. Yeah, no stats. Fuck it. Also, the st- not having the stats really sort of like calms you down. You don't care. You don't get any like, I don't know. I have 10,000.9 followers. That's all I know. I don't know if it's 10,940. I don't know if it's, one, you know, 10,901. Like, I don't know. Like, if it flips to 1.8, then I, 10.8, then I know. But, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> Uh, so it's kind of relaxing, like, because Instagram has sort of like it's ruined a lot. I feel like yeah. personally, like I don't mind if it was like a paid service, and like if you're gonna conduct business on our platform, pay us a Spotify subscription. That I could live with, but this bullshit about controlling one's followers. Mm-hmm. So I spent years like getting my ten thousand followers, and now you're capping them off. Yeah. Like, I could pay to keep the access, but for not paying, you know, like, for reach. No. Because that means, like I said, I paid for reach to try it out and sort of summarize it for you guys. And it was just empty likes. Mm. What the fuck am I supposed to do with the empty likes? Yeah. Nothing. I want to, uh, like, I want the engagement. Like, it could be 20 comments, 40 comments on a post mm. and 40 likes, you know. Like, I don't care. Like, I want that. Yeah. That communication, that's what it is. And that's what I love now also. I can, like, I really notice a lot of more, a lot more engagement from, I'm guessing most of uh, you guys are Sketchbook Heroes fans, but you've comment, started commenting a lot more on the stuff I do, mm. even if it's just silly, stupid comments, but I appreciate the fuck out of that. Yeah, like, yeah, it's dude, so it much fun. Um, it just feels a lot better, and it feels like it makes it worth posting, you know? Instead of just posting and then hoping for comments or likes or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Because now, like, when I post now, I don't think about it anymore. Like, I I just move on. I just, I post and it's there and I write something and then, then, then it's gone. Like, yeah, yeah, same here. um, I I try to reply though. I reply a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do that too. But but you don't, you you don't follow, you don't go back like to check every second. No, no. Nah, neither Uh, do I. I used to a lot more, but and mm. back then I didn't get any more. Like I didn't get comments and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but now it's because of not getting a lot of comments back in the day, I don't check it, so yeah. I don't have notifications on. That's why if you're writing a, a direct message to me on Instagram, it might take I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to see it straight away. Uh, also, if you're a client, sorry. <laughs> uh, I just don't see it because I hate having that fucking notification thing. Mm. Drains my phone. And okay, it's I, just I only annoying. Have, I it only have it on. I only have it on comments and DMs. Yeah, no, Nothing I thought else I, I, thought I did that, but okay. I didn't. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I didn't know how to activate that uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. properly. I guess. Okay, yeah. But I'm happy with just having no notifications as well. It's very, very nice. Makes my life easy. I think it's a good way to go. And then when because. I tell people to comment and they're like, oh, but I can't comment all the time every day. Neither do I. I fucking comment when I have time. Exactly. Like, even if I get the notifications, I read them. I don't go back. Like, I I skim them pretty much. Yeah. Like, I go, like, when I'm on my way home or if I'm, like, walking from the train station to home, I will reply to some comments on the way. Hmm. And then, let's say I comment on five, then it's five. 
and then I'll take the rest later. You know, like you yeah. set some time aside. You're taking a shit, reply to some comments. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. Confessionals. <laughs> it's, it's what happens. No, but I'm just saying that I also bought an Apple Watch that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. And it really takes away a lot more of the checking your phone thing as well. Nice. So right now I'm just like, I never have to like, I, I like it vibrates on my hand and I just like check it out and I'm like, okay. And then that's over with. Nice. So it takes away some of the checking your phone all the time with your kids. Mm. And you see, there is no sort of hunting like, oh, did anyone like anything? Because the likes, like, I'm so past that. Oh, yeah. I've been for a while. But I just mean that it's even less now. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't care. Because for me, Instagram has ruined the experience. Yeah. So and, it's, now, and it's so, like, buggy nowadays, too. It's very buggy. But I think that's because of the update. It's nothing. Like, yeah. it, iOS in general is Like, five working. of my Inktober posts were missing. Oh, really? They were gone. What? So that's why I reposted a few, like yeah, yeah, yeah. a couple, like, oh, maybe I missed these. Like, because yeah. I posted on both accounts in the beginning. So I thought, oh, maybe I just posted on the tattoo one. Uh, so I posted like, I think four images. And then uh, a couple of days later, I go in and I check it and they're back again. What? <laughs> so I remember. But I couldn't the post. post. Like, remember, I couldn't post from Sketchbook yeah, Heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It posted to my personal account like immediately. Like I logged out of my personal account, mm -hmm. and I just like erased the whole app. I logged back in with only the Sketchbook Heroes one, and it posted to my personal account. The fuck? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, but it fixed itself. And also regarding uh, phones, I bought the latest iPhone because I'm a nerd. X. Yes. Go and give it to you. Or 10. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I bought it. Uh, it's awesome, but also it's not worth double the money. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the new thing with the, the it, X one? Uh, like, except that it's more powerful. You know, that means nothing to me. <laughs> like, they were all powerful. Mm -hmm. Like, in their way. You know, like, for the iOS. For the stuff that you do on them. Mm. So this one is supposed to be... Hmm, X times faster. I don't know how much. Uh, X times. Uh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, but, and then it has the, the face login, which is awesome. So when I download apps, like I don't have to press my passcode. It's just like uh, ugly face. Uh, <laughs> okay, you bought it. Nice. Uh, so I have that, which but, is awesome. But. So that stuff. And then it has like, like I said, I don't know the difference between this camera and the eight. Like, but all I can say is that I love the face login. I can't motivate the double price for it, though. No, because that's uh, what I want to know. Like, yeah. What, it, what is the, the big thing? The big thing is that the screen is way bigger. Like, this screen is bigger than the iPhone 8 Plus. Wow. Yeah. So, But the, the housing, the case, the, the it's smaller. Everything is smaller. Hmm. But it also, the whole phone is a screen. Damn. That's and also, nice. it's like an OLED screen. So it's Which means nicer. like it has more contrast and saves more energy and all the shit you never needed. <laughs> uh, what the iPhone needs is just a battery boost always. That's yeah. always. But this one has like two hours more of battery time or something. But that's the thing. Because I don't have the Instagram notifications, yeah. my phone lasts for two days. Exactly. Two Mine fucking days. Mine lasts for two days. It's still charge it though. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend anyone... Like, Unless you're like a big Apple fanatic, like don't get it. There yeah. is no point in getting this unless you want the the sort of like you feel that the the face login thing is worth it. Yeah, because it is fun. No, it's not fun, but it's like on my computer. Convenient. You've seen it. Yeah, yeah, it's very convenient. Like I just, never have what? to. Yeah, it just reads me. Like it and it reads you in the dark. Like it could be pitch black and it logs in. Like it doesn't really matter. Like it That's doesn't. Scary. <laughs> That's how it works. Holy uh, shit. So, it, it it is a nice feature. Is it worth another like double the amount of a normal iPhone? No, I, I wouldn't say it is. I wouldn't say a normal iPhone is worth the money that. <laughs> no, but <laughs> you have like, to pay But you for know it. how? But you know how I sort of count like when people say like, oh, well, the Wacom this isn't worth that much, or the this thing isn't like the only reason I the the reason that I sort of think what. The way I blah, 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 blah. <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> okay, let's just back it up here. Uh, the, the way I approach when buying things is like how much easier 
is it going to make my life? Uh, what are the sort of like the benefits of it? You know, like in what what parts of my life will this device or this thing sort of add to? Mm -hmm. And in that sense, you know, I would sort of justify like three hundred. What was it like three thousand dollars, for yeah. example, for a computer or something? Mm -hmm. And so, if I feel that it has a lot of value to add, then I would just then I don't mind paying it. But I do mind paying when you know you're just paying for Apple, like a lot of the Apple computers right now, uh, the the laptops. They look very nice. Yeah. But you're also just paying for they look very nice. Yeah. And like. <laughs> Since they started switching to dongles for everything, it was mm -hmm. like, oh, you want to connect this? Oh, well, there's a connector to it. And then you just like, this is like the one thing that Apple never had was a lot of fucking cords. Mm -hmm. Now, Apple is the number one manufacturer the of fucking, fucking cords yeah. and dongles and whatever else so butt plugs that they want you to annoying. have. On that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I, I, I realized that and a lot I, of people are going wireless nowadays. But, yeah. like, I do, I, I have wireless headphones. Yeah. But I, I always forget to fucking charge them. Yeah. So <laughs> I always use my old <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. normal cords. And now, like I said, I mean, I have, like, two days of uh, battery on my phone. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean I don't need to charge it. So whenever I'm, like, on the train and I'm, it's about to die, I want to charge my phone. Well, <sighs> good yeah. luck. Yeah. It's like... Well, do I choose to let the whole cabin listen to my music? Or do I just sit there and wait for my phone to die? Yay. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That is bullshit. Conundrum. Uh, but yeah, so... Yeah. Actually, I, that's why I use the normal headphones more. Because uh, it saves uh, more energy. Or oh, dude. It doesn't die as easy. I don't forget to charge mine because I have my charger, one at work and one at... There you go. The office. So whenever I'm like, oh, meeting, Click. plug them in. Yeah. Just let them be. Yeah. Because these no. bad boys have 30 hours of battery. So. Yeah, I love them. They're so awesome. So they're nice. Yeah. Ah, sorry. No worries, man. I'm also there. I'm yeah. thinking of seeing Thor today. You yeah, should. It's still on. Like, it's seven o'clock. It's Swedish fucking amazing. Stuff, and it, I, think, I think it airs in like an hour ish. Yeah, I think it's like 8.15, I think, is one of the normal... Something, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely I'll, do it. I'll and do that. again, everybody, if you haven't seen it, <laughs> <laughs> go fucking see it. Uh, well, I sent the thing to you with Kevin Smith, but uh, for anybody who didn't... Or if you're not following Kevin Smith, the director and writer... Yeah, he's also... He's, he's fucking awesome. He also has a podcast, Fat Man on Batman. It is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, It's yeah. really fun. It used to be really cool. Why it's called Fat Man on Batman is because, like, the first couple of hundred episodes were just <laughs> about Batman. Oh, really? Yes. Fuck. And he only invited people that had something to do with, with the that. Batman comic or the, the yeah. animated show or movies. And he's interviewed every fucker. Like, it's, it was so good. Like, I've listened... That's one of the few podcasts that I've actually listened to sort of religiously. Oh, like, really? I followed it yeah, crazily. Yeah, like, it was so him. good. But then he went from that into the new sort of format, which is him and Mark Bernard... Mar Mark Bernardin? Bernardin? Oh, Bernardin! I can't Canadians. pronounce his no, just last name. <laughs> also great, like super awesome writer, mm -hmm. uh, awesome dude. Uh, and they have sort of what we have, like they're talking to each other about nerdy stuff. It's it's great. But Sweet. it's sort of, it's taken away a lot from what it used to be. But anyways, uh, he posted a thing, like an interview, I guess, with yeah, Chris yeah. Hemsworth. Or Chris Hemsworth had done an interview that... Kevin Smith read and screen, yeah, yeah, screenshot it, it. Yeah, yeah. and it was pretty much just uh, Chris Hemsworth uh, saying that it was thanks to Kevin Smith that they went the direction they did in the new movie. Yeah, sort of. Because Kevin Smith had said something about the previous movies and yeah. why he sort of disliked them. Yeah, yeah. He just yeah. because that's what he does. He's really <laughs> honest. He's really open. He's not afraid to cry. You yeah, know, he's yeah. like I love the guy. He's so fucking awesome. Plus, he commented on the picture I did, which is yeah, awesome. Thank you, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so cool, you know. And we talked about this earlier too. But just like 
I'm sort of putting myself in the head of Kevin Smith reading this message. And I mean, yeah. obviously he's he's famous too, but not Chris Hemsworth famous. Nope. Because <laughs> he's like one of the most beautiful men on the planet. Super awesome. Super funny in all like Marvel movies. Any man's dream. Yeah. And woman's. Nah, man. screw the woman. He's mine. <laughs> no, he's mine. Uh, but that was so cool like him yeah. and actually him saying it shouting Kevin Smith out that yeah, way yeah. saying like well if, if it wasn't for like hearing Kevin Smith who is this bona fide genius when it comes to comics and yeah. he knows a lot of it you know he knows what he's talking about mm -hmm. saying this and this I wouldn't have uh, wanted to go this way with Thor yeah, and yeah. I think like you haven't seen it yet so I don't want to say too much yeah yeah, yeah. But Definitely. it really, like, it paid off in such a beautiful way. Like, it's like it's been a week since I saw it now, and it's really settled in. I need to see it again. But it's it's gone from being one of the best Thor movies to one of my favorite Marvel movies. Ooh, and that's a bold statement. That's it is, a lot, yeah. yeah. But it's also it's because it's new, fresh, <laughs> funny. Like that was me. Oh, that was you? Yeah. Okay, I was like, what the fuck? Just God damn it, Anna. Why are you writing? Woman! Oh, she's she's buying stuff. I don't know. Shame on her. How much longer are we going to go? Uh, Not long. Not long. <laughs> yeah. I will write more uh, But guys, uh, we would really love to hear what you have to say about this format. Like, it's been... A mixed... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A mixed bag of goodies. Uh, I guess, yeah... We can try this again, uh, talking comics or, you know, anything like yeah. animation, cartoons, you know, like we could talk. We just wanted to do something that was honest. Yeah, and a bit more relaxed, I guess. Yeah. Not having the pressure of having to talk about something really art related in that yeah. sense. Like, because it's always like, it's it, it's always difficult to come up with a new, really good, catchy theme yeah, or, and also, or topic, I mean. Or just, he like, every time making a helpful episode. Because mm. then we couldn't make them weekly. Like, no. we could probably, you know, like, because you burn through topics pretty fast. Oh, yeah. When doing weekly episodes. Very and much. we don't only want to do, like, interviews. The interviews are fun. And yeah, some yeah, of yeah. our best episodes... But I think what makes them the best episodes is that they are infused with our the way we do. Yeah, stuff. yeah, like, like we, we have some breaks the from them, uh, and then you get them, and then you don't mm -hmm. get them. You know, like I think that's what makes it really, really fun to listen to. Like, because you you sort of have you have our perspective, then we invite someone into our world, and we yeah. sort of let them like yeah, hola just... luada, and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go nuts, yeah, and. Uh... Yeah, I think actually just getting letting them into our world, I think, is the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's where the value is instead of us just doing an interview and then an interview. Mm. Uh, so we're still going to, like like I said, next week we have a guest yeah. that's probably going to cancel, Prakash. Yeah, uh, <laughs> of course. Uh, but it is, we, we sort of like that blend where we invite people and then do our thing. Mm. Uh, we're still like exploring what the sketchbook heroes are going to be, but I think what we said today about being like the friends while you draw, like you know, is yeah, where we're sort that's of that's the at. key. I think. Yeah, that that's sort of like the fun, mundane thing that that's that's where you appreciate your friends the most. It's not the big acts, you know. It's that no. sort of like sitting in each other's company, drawing, watching cartoons, talking uh, you shit. know, like talking shit, mm. and that's sort of where we want to be. Yeah. Sometimes it's gonna be super art related. Sometimes it's just gonna be talking nerdy stuff, you know. Yeah. Because our worlds are pretty much around that. Like. And I like. I would like to know if you guys want us to be like even more personal. Like, how how much of us do you want to know? Yeah. About. Yeah, I don't mind sharing. Like, there is nothing I could say that would sort of make me feel uncomfortable no, or that I all. would feel like I, I won't give you my bank account, you know, but no. I can be personal and <laughs> exactly. Cause yeah. I mean, obviously I was thinking or debating in my head, yeah. is it okay to talk about the weed stuff? And you know, is this going to uh, upset people? Is it a touchy subject? Like, but I want to be really honest with people and yeah. like, 
I'm not suffering from any sort of big uh, drug addiction or no. anything. I haven't even smoked anything ever. No, Ilias is like the polar opposite of me when it comes to all the bad stuff. Like, I've tried almost everything. He's tried almost nothing. Yeah, and, <laughs> and the fun thing is I'm not even against weed. That's the no, thing. No, no. Like, and that's, yeah, that's what I really appreciate yeah, too. Yeah, because it's, it is like when there is some sort of science to back it up and not just bullshit opinions, you know... Then you, I will go with the, the you science. You can't really argue against it. But like, some people still do. It's yeah, like, of course. But I come some from people a training. Th- think that Earth is flat. Dude, but they're <laughs> stupid. Like, yes. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to defend you, but you're just stupid. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> uh, No, but what I'm saying is that I come from a world of like training, working mm-hmm. out. And even there, there are these fucking morons that make up shit. Like when the data and science backs like says like this is how it works, we don't have all the answers, but it's definitely not your made up bullshit. Then I'm gonna go with the facts, you know, for now yeah. until those facts. Because every the thing is with all this stuff, you know, there's new stuff coming in and it sort of disproves the old stuff. Of course, but usually these morons that make shit up, they're still wrong. You know, like <laughs> yeah, you know, like so. Don't do like just because it feels right doesn't mean it is right. If if someone says I believe, then you can just stop reading because that the person's beliefs. He's just said that he doesn't know or she. Yeah, they. yeah exactly. Like I believe a lot of shit. Like I'm and not saying all, that it's all true. It's not true. That's the thing. Like, Probably most of it isn't. Yeah. No. So yeah. so either you you like science says that. Yeah, exactly. And, and still then, you know, it mm-hmm. might not be you correct. You could still be iffy. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying that try to sort of be a bit more, uh, oh, I don't know the word in English. Uh, Smart. But, no, no, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> no, but just be a bit, like, question it more. Yeah. Especially if it comes with, like, this is usually the best way of doing it. Like, one of the best ways of doing it, actually, uh, is, like, if the, if the person writing the thing has financial gain... There you go. There you That's go. your answer. Yeah. Yeah. Don't They're probably to not that. out to help you. They're probably out to sell you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, with that said, people... No. <laughs> no. Uh, no, but I think that was a good sort of way to round it off. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't really have anything more to add. No. Uh, we would really love to hear what you think about the format that we yeah. said before, like 10 minutes ago. Because <laughs> this is really, like, we invited you into our world right Headspace, now like yeah. this this is pretty much what we would talk about if we or this is yeah. what we talk about uh before the episode starts if we're mm-hmm. doing a, a scripted one or scripted within ah, one year scripted very <laughs> but this is us this is what we do like yeah. we just sit we talk about this stuff um and usually we draw while we do it like yeah we, that, that, i think <laughs> exactly. that's the only that's the difference, only difference. Yeah. <laughs> like right now we're licking microphones but usually yeah. we just sit there with our sketch pads yeah. i could actually have done that today. yeah i was thinking the same yeah, yeah, like, i could have actually <laughs> because just... i actually have the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The i could have just brought something here we can do that in one episode actually. we can try that and see how it goes that, like if we because that would be interesting listening back to like, yeah i think what so the too fuck like do we talk about yeah because because it is a bit of a trance when i draw mm-hmm. and i could say stuff and then just like what the fuck yeah. you know like so that could be something that we can try out as well because i i have been thinking about that before and i was like but yeah but sometimes we have a long period where we don't really speak but mm-hmm. Then I remember that no, that's not one of the That's not us. Hey, yeah. that's not us. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's someone some else. Other people. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I'm not worried at all. No. So but, today we have no better but better but bam, which exactly. is super strange. Oh no, yeah. we do have one in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, we do. Yeah, ah. we do. So we have one. So but yeah. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in again. Yeah. And again, please tell us what you think. Yeah. Like reach out. Hello at sketchbookheroes.com. Yeah. Or, or comment on the Instagram post, uh, yeah. posts. Yeah. Facebook. Anywhere. Twitter. Ilias Pathless. Rob Ekblom. Blah, 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 blah. I sound like a fucking Yeah, alien. so I'm going to go watch Thor. Do it. I'm probably going to be so sick tomorrow, man. <laughs> no, you're going to be sick tomorrow because you're going to go watch it again tomorrow. Yeah. That's yeah, so I know so it. So sick. <laughs> so sick, bro. It's fucking sick. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm just afraid that I've hyped it up too much now, so you're not going to like it. Nah, I don't so. Think go so. in with a clear head. Remember, Robert liked this Dude, movie. Dude, I am so sick. I'm not going to go in with a clear head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I okay. can barely breathe. Sorry yeah. for all the sniffling and the... <laughs>
<laughs> and a last little uh, tip. If you're uh, looking to watch like a really meaningless, pointless fucking movie, watch the new Baywatch. Because that oh, shit, shit was I fucking hilarious. Want I want to see it. Actually. It was hilarious. I want to see that one and Jumanji. And because it feels like the same movie. Yeah, pretty much. Like, it's pretty much like The Rock and then you change everyone else. And then you have like the next one. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, no, it's it's extremely superficial and it's yeah, yeah, just so course. stupid. But I think that's the point. Uh, like, but it knows what it is. Oh, yeah. That's what makes it so funny. I think that's so where funny. the win is. Yeah. yeah. I think Deadpool, all those movies, like they know what they are. They don't try to be more. They don't try to be like, oh yeah, Zach Afron, uh, and now we talk about Zach Afron again. But yeah. yeah, but I think as long as you're sort of like, even if it's silly and you do it with that intent, it's going to be good. Yeah. yeah, it is, because I started watching the new uh, Mummy movie as well. I know we were just rounding the off the Tom Cruise one. Yeah, the Tom Cruise Mummy movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounds funny. <laughs> mummy movie. Uh, but yeah, no, so, so I got that one first, and uh, okay. I'm actually I'm buying. And paying for these movies, yes. I'm not. I'm not actually. These are not ste- free. I'm not stealing them. Uh, but I started watching it, and I just didn't feel it. <laughs> I had to pause it. Like I stopped it midway. I heard so many bad things about yeah. it. Unfortunately, uh, but it was okay. It was just. It didn't really. It didn't grip me. Mm-hmm. But then, so in between, I started watching Baywatch, oh. and I saw that movie from start to finish. <laughs> like Love. so, yeah. If that. Yeah, so whoever made the mummy, make good movies, motherfucker. Yeah, don't fucking waste a good uh, property like the mummy on shit like that. (laughs) Seriously. (laughs) A good property like the mummy. You could make good mummy movies. Like, the, I love the first one, the old, uh, what the was his Brendan name? Fraser. Brendan Fraser. <laughs> the first mummy. No, the first one is actually, it's fucking like, awesome. the effects are terrible, but yeah, it yeah. is sort of, like, But it was groundbreaking when they came, and it was really big and bombastic. It's and super funny. And then it just funny. got worse with every one, of course, right? Of like, course. it was insane. Like, the budget just, like, shrank with every movie. But with that said, they're still watchable. They're are still, they? Yeah. Even the bad ones are still watchable. Damn it. No, dude. I watched the one with Jet Li Lee and it's like, <laughs> Chocolate Lee, come back from the dead. You're there like, you no. Yeah, but you still saw it. I did. See yeah, it. there you go. But I pirated <laughs> it. <laughs> ah. yeah. So, sure. I saw it. <laughs> but yeah, go watch Thor, Ilias, mm-hmm. and everybody else listening that haven't seen it. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, this was... Uh, yeah, this was the rambling confessions. <laughs> yes, rambling confessions. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah hope you guys uh, loved this and hope you guys have had a good week so far and enjoy your weekends mm-hmm. and uh, don't forget for people in Sweden it's Father's Day on Sunday mm-hmm. give your papa some love or some drawings or some drawings or drawings where'd you learn to draw clown <laughs> <laughs> make me a bicycle clown <laughs> why are you uh, shouting Okay. So thank you guys. Love you guys. Up, up, and skadoosh. Here we go. Kabao. What about?